Hey folks, in today's video tutorial, I am going to speak about the reference planes, how to show, how to create or how to hide this reference plane in Creo 4 and also with Creo 8 or Creo 10. Because with Creo 8, we have a new configuration option. So let's start with Creo 4. And first of all, I'd like to show you that over here in this model, I do not have any references and reference plane, so I will create it here. So for example, I will open this model and over here we would like to create a new datum plane and we can select the coordinate system. Yes, so system will specify the necessary plane. If I will confirm OK, we can quickly select and rename. So for example, reference plane is many times A, B, C, D, so alphabetical naming and now it's only datum plane, but we would like to change the datum plane to reference plane. So it's necessary to select the plane, right mouse button and properties. And in the properties, please select this icon on the right side. If I will come from OK, now you can see that in the model I have a reference plane and we can reuse this for the geometric tolerances in the drawing or as the MBD directly by the annotation features. But let's speak about these details later. Really, I like to focus how to hide this uh, datum reference planes. And why? Because it's a simple. If I will close this window and I will go back to assembly, you can see that right now I have everywhere so many reference planes and really, it's not really easy to see the properly, the good uh, visualization on the 3D model. So again, if I will open the new model and again over here, I will add the additional reference plane. So for example, I will select this uh, surface and then we can go through and directly, if you would like to change name, you can select the properties and change the name here. So for example, also A and by right mouse click and properties, simple select that you would like to have reference plane. So we can go back in assembly again, more and more datum planes are visible and then it's really hard to focus on the 3D. So first op option is that you can create directly in your model. So if I will open the first one, the layer and you can jump here and jump the layer and simple create new layer. You can write that is the reference and simple. You can select the reference A, B, C or how you want. Also, it's possible to create automatic layer. You can check the previous tutorials. So if you have a reference layer, you can simply select and hide. So if we will hide this one, then it's not visible in 3D. It's still there. Yeah, if I will select like this, it's still on the model. And if you will open the drawing and you will make the drawing directly over there, the reference plane will be visible. Also, you can find the way how to work with the references, drawing, dimension in the previous tutorials. Let's focus and continue on the reference plane on the assembly. As you can see here, yeah, if I will check the model, what has been created as the second one, the datum planes are still there. So again, you have to open model and create the layers. If you will use the template, the system will do it automatically, but I'd like to show you that you can do it really fast and really quickly. So what does it mean? You can jump into view tab and over here is the model display and simple. You can select temporary shade. So what does it mean in the assembly? You can simple select model display, temporary shade that all reference plane in Creo 4 will be hidden, will be not visible. And if you will select and open the model, the datum plane and reference datum plane will be still there. So it's really only temporary hidden on the active object. If you would like to hide it here, you can select view model display temporary shade. So this is preferences with Creo 4 and similar. I'd like to show you how it works with Creo 8. Now we are in Creo 8 and I am starting from scratch. So nothing is created. And if I will open the model, I'd like to create same datum plane. So in the ribbon, I will select the plane. We will select from the model tree, the coordinate system. 
and in the properties we will specify the name, for example, A. In the right mouse button I will specify the properties and I will select that I'd like to create a reference plane. Confirm OK and a reference plane is created. And over here, if I will create another plane, only quickly, we can see that, for example, orientation will be Y and confirm OK. So I'd like to show you how the system works and if you will use the plane display, you will see that reference plane is still visible also with Creo 8 because we didn't apply the configuration option. But if I would like to show you that in the file option you are able to specify your option hide set datum plane with planes and default is no, then nothing happened. But if you will change it to yes, so simply you can found or add a simple set value to yes and come from OK. And now I don't want to save these preferences for me. I'd like to only show you, so I will select no. We can simply to see that if I will select button, the show and hide datum plane, now the system with Creo 8 show or hide also not only the datum plane, but also reference plane. So I really like this configuration option. And this is reason that I like to share this information with you in this tutorial. So over here you can see that also it really works smoothly on the assembly and you can create uh, reference planes or datum planes and simple visible and height by plane display. So it was example how to create and use the reference plane in Creo 4 or in Creo 8. Thank you and stay tuned. Bye-bye. Vladimir.